Hey everybody, it's Danielle and I am here to talk about my post-op week 12 experience. I had the vertical sleeve surgery done on August 24th, 2018. I am 37 years old, I am 5'11", and my highest weight was 300 pounds. My day of surgery weight was 291. So when I got on the scale last week, last Friday, and I posted it on Instagram, I was 242. And that brings me down from my highest weight of 358 pounds. And then my day of surgery weight, 49 pounds. So that's pretty exciting uh, to know that it's, it's coming off for sure. And um, this week hasn't been very eventful. I still had some constipation, which I am so grateful for everybody that comments and that you know gives me suggestions or advice and it, it really helps because you know I'm I don't know anybody that has gone through this surgery or this type of weight loss um, situation that you know can give me some tips or pointers so I I just want to say thank you so very much for all the comments and just suggestions on you know, to get it going. But <laughs> today I did go to the store. Um, I was out uh, running around finishing up some stuff for Thanksgiving and I did pick up something else. So I'm gonna try it this week. Hopefully I can report back with some good news. So I have taken about eight of these pills, two at a time, and I don't find them very effective. I, I probably should just get rid of them, but I just, I hate throwing things away. So I wanna give it a decent shot and I can just safely say, at least for me, these have not really helped me, so I won't be repurchasing them. Uh, this week, let's see, um, I had a supervisor on the other side of our floor. She hasn't seen me in a while, and um, we had a fire drill earlier in the week, and we're on the third floor. So at the rate people go, I work in a very large building, at the rate people go for a practice fire drill, I'd never make it. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's seen me while we were doing the fire drill and she's like oh my gosh you lost so much weight she goes I picked up all the weight that you lost and she's pregnant uh, <laughs> she's about six or seven months pregnant and I was like oh gosh you know she goes you look fantastic and I was like oh thank you so much and congratulations and she was telling me she's having a boy and you know it was a really nice compliment it made me feel good and later on the week a couple days later they had a employee appreciation barbecue for our floor and it was set up over next to the same supervisor and when i was walking over and she was talking to the uh, vice president of our floor and she's like oh she goes look how great she looks she goes i picked up all the weight that she lost and it was kind of awkward but i know she meant it in like a very nice complimentary way uh, but with that said, there's only a few people that know that I've had the surgery. I don't mind talking about it, and I don't mind if people know, but it's not going to be the first thing I say, like, hi, my name's Danielle, and I have the vertical sleeve done. No, that's not, that's not going to happen. But, I mean, I do, I do want to be, at least for me, upfront with people, because I would have never lost this weight without it. You know, I had excuse after excuse after excuse. So for me personally, I don't mind sharing. Um... So with that said, it was kind of funny because they had barbecue, they had macaroni and cheese, they had garlic bread, and uh, they had green beans. It was a whole barbecue spread. And they had sodas and uh, banana pudding, like little individual things of banana pudding. And I kind of felt like people were kind of curious to see how much food I was going to put on my plate. And <laughs> so I took a little bit of green beans, I took a little bit of the pulled pork, and they had small like slivers of turkey. I took a slice of turkey and I'm gonna be honest I took a little scoop of the mac and cheese it looked amazing it looked like that ooey gooey macaroni and cheese and I was like yeah I'm gonna have a little little scoop of that and then I did take one of the banana cream uh, things and it was in a very small container so I took a couple bites had you know maybe about three ounces of the food put the rest aside and I kind of picked at it a little bit probably about an hour or two and I was done. And I also had the banana pudding and I don't feel bad about it. Maybe I should, I don't know. Um, I had some, it was great and that was it, I was fine. I, you know, I didn't feel bad and 
it's not something I eat all the time. I never have banana pudding. I don't have chocolates around the house. I don't have things like that. So things like when Halloween happens and I have a couple pieces of candy or they do something at work and they bring in banana pudding, I'm not overindulging like I used to. I'm sure if it was Danielle 12 weeks ago or uh, pre-opt, I would have had a lot more macaroni and cheese. Oh, I did not have any garlic bread. I didn't even touch it. I didn't touch the soda. Um, I, I, I just took a little bit of the green beans, the protein, and a scoop of the macaroni and cheese. It was a small scoop too. It wasn't even a big one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I sound like I'm sitting here justifying it, but I, I don't feel bad about it. You know, I didn't overindulge and I don't feel guilty. Maybe I should. I don't know. Do you guys get like that where you feel like you know you're not eating a lot of junk, but when you have a little bit, I mean, is that okay? So anyways, <laughs> that's been it about this week, to be honest with you guys. Um, I still, I don't know, and I probably need to go see my doctor. My back is still bothering me, and it's not so much the lower back. It's like, I don't even know what you would call it. The upper lower back and that probably makes no sense <laughs> but um I don't know it's like when I stand for a while it really hurts not like really but it gets tired and I feel like it it's the back pain coming again so I don't know if I'm just to the point where maybe I need to go see my doctor and it just I put stuff off because I'm one of two people in my office well not my office but my department like I've said a million times I work in a mail room slash print room it's only me and one other person so when I was out of work he was there for eight weeks alone and I feel guilty about that so anytime like I'm, I have a vacation coming up in a couple of weeks um, I mentioned in my last video we are taking my mom as when I say we my husband and I are taking my mom up to Seattle and I have three days off uh, from work so I feel like anytime I need to leave early or I need to take a day or something's going on since my surgery I feel really guilty about it um, but in the other hand it's like well this is your body and you have to take care of it so if that means leaving work an hour early or going in an hour late due to a doctor's appointment you got you got to do what you got to do and I just I don't know I feel bad and I probably really should uh, figure out what's going on because if, if it is even anything I don't know um, maybe I will make a doctor's appointment uh, this coming week because I probably need to get my blood work done anyways um, I prior to surgery I was on blood pressure medicine and I was on cholesterol medicine my uh, primary care doctor told me that you know if you check your blood pressure regularly and it's at a normal rate you you can stop the blood pressure medicine but I should continue the cholesterol medicine because that you know that's just something you can't tell if it's working or not you know what I mean like you don't know if it's gone down or up or whatnot so I probably shouldn't um, get a have him do the paperwork for blood work I'm probably due for some blood work um, so that's a ramble right God, I'm sorry you guys um, also too I've, I've noticed this week and I said last week that I've been noticing my collarbones I've noticed my face has I, I'm sure you know everyone goes through this but I've started noticing like I get the veins like in my neck <laughs> and I feel like my face has gotten smaller and now that I've cut my hair I had a hair appointment yesterday and it looks like crap I have been like doing a lot of cleaning and a lot of Thanksgiving prep um, for the week so that way I don't I don't have to worry about it too much on Wednesday when I come home from work and my husband will be off on Monday and Tuesday he only works one day next week on Wednesday he's pretty damn lucky um, anyways so I'm trying to do the bulk of the stuff and there's gonna be a few things that I need him to do tomorrow um, that I don't really do and he'll do some lawn work and um, you know it's like a 50 50 thing um so anyways the whole reason my hair is a mess I haven't done anything to it today I've been doing a lot of cleaning so um, I don't even know where I was going with that thought but um, yeah I uh, oh, so my haircut <laughs> that's where I was going so I've noticed my face is smaller and 
my haircut. I see so much more of my mother now in me, <laughs> in my features. Like everyone always said that I look like my mom. And, um, but now that I've cut my hair, she has like a similar haircut. It's like, holy crap, I feel mom, mom mode. And not in a bad way, like that's not what I'm saying, but I totally feel like I look like my mother. And um, so, oh well, oh well, I like it. And you know, like I said, I don't have any makeup on right now. I don't have my hair fixed and, oh God, Whew, sorry. <laughs> and, um, you know, that's pretty much it. That's really all I have this week. And I just, I wanted to put a video out and I just feel like I'm rambling, but um, anyways, Thanksgiving is coming up. I am so grateful that you guys take the time to watch my videos or my Insta stories or anything like that. I, I'm grateful for any feedback that you give me. And I'm just, I'm grateful for that. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy it. I hope, you know, you just have a lot of love and a lot of happiness on that day. Um, also too, if you go Black Friday shopping, because I do. And um, I hope you get some really great deals. Um, my husband and I normally go. If my mom's up for Thanksgiving, we will go. Uh, so it's fun. You know, I'm never really sad if I don't get the item that I wanted, but it's, it's a fun experience and I take it with a grain of salt. So, um, with that said, happy Thanksgiving and have a wonderful week. Bye.